Hello everyone, welcome back again to another travel vlog. This is Splendid Feet and today I will take you to another beautiful city in southeastern France, the Heidegg city of science range that sits at the foot of mountains between the Drac and Isere River. It is known in particular as a base winter sports and its museum universities and research center. This is such a pleasing and enjoyable city. Welcome to Grenoble. Nestled in the French Alps, you will find the lovely city of Grenoble. This mountain town is famous among winter sports enthusiasts as it was host to the 1968 Winter Olympics. However, you don't need to be a winter enthusiast to enjoy the city with the kids, as Grenoble is beautiful year-round. In the heart of the city, let yourself merge into the pedestrian streets, tangling into the historical boroughs. The heart of the city is just waiting for visitors to confer, recounting years of history from the building process of Notre Dame Cathedral to the building of progress built in 19th. Eyes in the air, feet on the cobblestones, let the city center unveil itself to you. Often nicknamed the gateway to the Alps and the capital of the Alps, though these are titles shared by other alpine hubs like Chamonix and Innsbruck, Grenoble is a beautiful, lovely town on the foothills of the French Alps, a university town as well as recognized hub of art, science, and culture. Grenoble has a Kent old town populated with many historical buildings. The magnificent open parliament building, things with Gothic and Renaissance styles, the place in Notre Dame and its 13th century cathedral, and a market square with a still functioning daily market. And for those that love getting that unique view of the city from above, this is the place for it. Even though it's one of the most visited tourist sites, because come on, views are everything. It's provide one of my favorites. You get both the town and the surrounding mountains. You literally feel enveloped in the Alps. The Bastille or Fort, date back to the Middle Ages. Remember the Cans of Albon? To that time period, its location was important as it's where the French Alpine frontier and the Kingdom of the Savoy met. There are two ways to get to the top, one requires great outdoor shoes and the other just a short ride via cable car. If you choose the cable car, you will enjoy a 180 degrees view of the town and the Isiri River. Installed in 1875 for freight movement from the quarry below, the cable cars didn't become a tourist thing until 1934 when the rock quarry was officially abandoned. And to get to the top, you ride in what local calls list balls, aka bubbles. Once at the top, you will be able to walk through temporary exhibits, venture through the small military museum, walk the viewing deck and pay respect to mountain troops of old. There are also two restaurants at the top where you can enjoy a nice food and drinks at a higher altitude.
is how we ended up our 2021 here in Grenoble and welcoming the best life ahead of 2022. Our stay here was fantastic and amazing. And that's it with you guys. Thanks for tuning in. This is Splendid Fit signing off and I'll see you on my next vlog. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you always be notified on my next vlog. Thank you! Happy New Year! <laughs> You see the light? Wow! My fireworks in that. Ooh!